What at the camera, man? Duo wield! How did I end up cleaning carpets? I used to supervise in a restaurant. And I got fucking fired for the most ridiculous bullshit. That's kind of when my life fell apart. Oh, why'd you get fired? Because I tried to help another employee. It's fucking stupid. The manager fucking hated me. She was a fucking bitch. Oh, sorry. <sighs> he, he's gonna get mad, times. but I get angry. Go for it. That's okay. I worked at um. <clears throat> fuck. What happened? I don't know. I got married and blah blah blah. I was working at a casino. I got a. They offered me to uh, supervise the night shift. Um, which is like fucking suicide. Like nobody can do it because it's stressful as fuck. The employees suck. The customers suck. But I'm like a chill fucking dude. And I guess everybody thinks I'm a stoner or whatever because I, I never get angry or anything at work and I'm always chill. So like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll just make Steve do it. And I was like, okay, you're gonna pay me 15 an hour and plenty of overtime. Like, fuck, dude. Oh, dude, working an eight-hour chef for 20 to 15 hours with no degree when you're 19 years old is pretty fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. So mm -hmm. I was like, hell yeah, I'm on that shit all day. So I fucking did that for about three years. Um, working the night shift probably cost me my marriage, and it also cost me my fucking college, um, because I ended up working way too much. It's depressing as fuck, dude. When you score fucking 35 on the ACT, and then you fail fucking entry-level, like, music history courses because you're missing classes, is really fucking depressing. So I failed school, blah, 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 because of that shit. But it's okay because my, um, because my job was really fucking awesome. Um, but then someday, okay, so here here we go, here we go. Someday this chick, um, she goes to call out. Um, she goes to call out of the restaurant, and she's like, oh, I'm, I'm sick, or my legs hurt, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, dude, if you call out one more time, you're going to get fired. You realize this, right? And she's like, well, uh, well I gotta, I've got a note. I'll bring a doctor's note. That'll be okay. And I'm like, okay, but, I mean, the way the point system works, but okay, if you bring it out, you'll be fine. Um... <clears throat> no, 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 wait, I, I'm sorry, I gotta back up a little bit. I came into work, okay? I came into work, I have to work swing shift, okay? Which is like the evening shift, not the overnight. I come in, the supervisor tells me, hey, um, somebody called out from night shift. I was like, who did? She, she was like, Jackie. I was like, oh, wait, well, isn't isn't she like one point away from getting fired? She calls out. So then I call her, she's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, you're gonna blah, blah. So blah, blah, blah. I call my manager, okay? My manager fucking hates me. This bitch is such a bitch. She's such a bitch. I don't even know, I don't even know what else to say about her. So okay, she's sure. like, so I'm like, hey, what's up? Uh, my Jackie's calling out, like she's gonna get fired, and she's like, yes, but don't tell her, don't tell her she's gonna get fired, okay? And I was like, okay, she hates Jackie, okay, because she's a bitch, whatever. So, I, so I message, and I was like, well, she said she's gonna bring a doctor's note. Is that okay? So my manager's like, no, 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 she hasn't been working for six months, so make sure you tell her doctor's note's no good. And I'm like, okay, and then um. So I text Jackie, and I'm like, hey, dude, your doctor's note isn't any good. I mean, if you don't come in tonight, you're bone. And she was like, "Ah, oh, whatever." So Did you just say "fucked," and that's what I actually. Yeah, I actually, I said, "If you don't, if you don't come in, you're fucked." Um, I texted her that. So then, what happened was, three days later, okay, it was like two or three days later, okay. Fucking Pam calls me into work four hours early, okay? When you work night shift and you go to school full time, fucking sleep is impossible to come by. This bitch calls me at like six o'clock, okay? I work at 10 p.m. is when I start. She calls me at six o'clock. She's like, Steven, can you come in early? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, because I'm a fucking suck up and overtime is yeah. cool. So I go into work. And she's in her dressed up. She's like, you need to come to my office. And I was like, this bitch is about to fucking fire me. There's no fucking way. How, what the fuck is this bitch? So I sit down and she's like, you told Jackie she was getting fired. And I was like, what do you mean? I, I told her that she, her doctor's note. She's like, I checked her text messages, Steve. And I found this. And so, whoom, she takes her little piece of paper out. And the, and the exact text was like, Jackie, you're, um, you haven't worked long enough to qualify for FMLA. If you don't come in tonight, you're fucked. And I'm like, well, I mean, she was at nine points. If she if she doesn't come in tonight, she'll get pointed. You weren't supposed to tell her she was getting fired. And I was like, what do you mean? She knows she's going to be at ten points. I just told her she was going to get pointed. You said fucked. And I was like... Well, I mean, she she fuck? she knows that she's gonna get fired. She's at nine more. Like, well, you said it in a really unprofessional way. You used the f word, and I was like, it was a private text message to another employee. Are you telling me that if I would have used a different word, I wouldn't be getting fired? And she's like, no, 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 no. You told her she was getting fired. I was like, I didn't really tell her she was getting fired. I just, I, I, I mean, I, I, I told her that she was gonna get pointed. And she's like, well, you said it in a really unprofessional way. I was like, so you're telling me that if I used a different word, I wouldn't have gotten fired? And she's like, no, 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 no. You told her she was getting fired. Okay, so we played this back and forth game. Okay, I got pissed off. <laughs> fucking gave her my badge and left i came in to talk to the hr lady because i was like there's no fucking way like i fucking threw my life away like i knew every area of that job better than any fucking other employee there okay 
and and yeah, the HR lady was just as bad. I sit down in front of her. I'm like, okay, bitch, we need to talk about this. And she's like, you realize I'm the one who approved your termination. <laughs> she's like, you realize I'm the one who approved your termination, right? And I'm like, so why do I have to come to you to argue it? And she's like, well, I mean, that's just the way the channels work. And I'm like, okay, so you're the one who has to approve all the firings first, and then the people that get fired are supposed to come to the person who approved it to argue for their job back? And she's like, yep, that's the way the system works. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's fucking great. So she pretty much fucking jerked off in my face, and then that was that was pretty much the end of my life. There you go. That's uh... I can't believe there was no one higher than that one manager. That's that's absurd. So I went through like this four month bout of depression where I fucking drained my four hundred one k and all my savings because I couldn't find myself ever working for somebody again. And then I got desperate and fucking now I'm a herp derp carpet cleaner. <laughs> 